Pirkei Avot, Ethics of Our Fathers, Chapter 4, Mishnah 1. Ben Zoyma says, amongst other things, the very famous statement, Ezehu Asher, who is wealthy, Hasameach Bechalka, one who is happy with what he has. But Ben Zoyma quotes a proof text. He quotes a verse. Shinemar, as the verse reads, in Tehillim, in Psalms, Yegiya Kapecha Kitoichal, eat from the labor of your hands, Asherecha, fortunate are you, Vitoivlach, and it's good for you. And the Mishnah comments on that verse, Asherecha, fortunate are you, Ba'ilam Hazeh, in this physical world, Vitoivlach, and it is good for you, La'ilam Abba, in the world to come. Now, the surface reading, it's not exactly clear how this verse is a proof text for the idea that richness is connected to being happy with what you have. Many explanations are offered, and I'd like to suggest the following. The verse is not merely a proof text to the idea, but actually a method by which to achieve the goal of this idea of being happy with what you have. How can one be happy with what they have? The soul has a natural tendency to always want more. As the Midrash states, Misha yesh lemona, one who has a hundred, right? a Messiah, wants two hundred. So how can I be happy with what I have if I am born with this natural tendency to always want more? And therefore comes this verse and says, Yegiyah kapecha, labor your hands. And Hasidus explains, the investment in making a living should only be kapecha, your hands. But your soul, with its natural desire to want more and more, should not be invested in making a living. My soul should be free to pursue Torah, connection to Hashem. And in that realm, one who has a hundred should definitely want two hundred. And there's the recipe to being happy with what I have. If my soul is invested in my work, it's not merely yigei kapecha, it's not merely the work labor of my hand, but the labor of my soul is invested in making a living, then I'm always going to want more. And I'm never going to be the rich one who's happy with what he has. But if my soul and its natural tendency to want more and more is not invested in making a living, but invested in the pursuit of a relationship with Hashem through Torah and mitzvot, and in that area it would be fantastic if I always wanted more and more. And my making a living is limited to kapecha, the work of my hand, or my external faculties, even if it requires the mind to make a living, like a professional, a doctor, a lawyer, or whatnot. But my soul is not in that and I'll be happy with whatever I have.